65. Let's get things started with your top nine stories tonight at nine o'clock. First, the controversial Dakota Access Pipeline. Today, demonstrators across North America demanded that the U.S. government halt or reroute the pipeline as the companies behind the project asked a federal court for permission to complete it. Protesters rallied outside of Army Corps of Engineers offices, banks, and energy companies. The main protests have come from Native Americans and environmentalists. The nearly 1,200-mile oil pipeline would run from North Dakota through South Dakota and Iowa and into Illinois. Backers say it's the most efficient way to transport oil and could make the U.S. more energy independent. One demonstration was far away from the pipeline in Pensacola today. A peaceful group came together to make people aware of the problems they say the pipeline would pose to the environment. The CW55's Haley Minogue has the story. The demonstration downtown in the Martin Luther King Jr. Plaza was peaceful. Dozens came together to spread the word. We are all connected. Mary Gutierrez, one of the event's organizers, wants people to know there's multiple sides to the North Dakota pipeline protests. It's really about um, it being a human justice issue, not just an environmental issue, a public health issue. So. Um, it's important that we support each other. Just earlier today, the Department of the Army and Interior said they needed more time before making a decision. But some demonstrators believe that's even more reason to keep making their voices heard. I don't, I don't think we can stop. In fact, I am optimistic that we will see more and more peoples from all over joining together out of concern for one another. Another focus Tuesday evening is the Sable Trail Pipeline. The Sable Trail Pipeline is a 515 mile long natural gas pipeline in more central parts of Florida. We have a similar uh, pipeline that's happening in uh, Florida, not directly impacting northwest Florida, but there is the potential for um, additional pipelines to be built, which could indirectly impact this area. When the event ends and people go about their lives, Gutierrez believes people will know more about the pipelines. I'm hoping that there's an increased knowledge on both issues, the Sable Trail and the Dakota Access Pipeline. I'm hoping that they understand the issue and they know realize that they can become engaged. Reporting in Pensacola, Haley Minogue, the CW55 News at 9. For links to more information about Earth Action and Earth Ethics, you can visit our website and look for this story. A CW55 update tonight.